Yo, what is up guys, it's Rock here, and um, I've just got a couple of tips and troubleshooting solutions for um, Bojo 3D motion tracking that I forgot to mention in my tutorial. If you're wondering what song is playing in the background, it is Zombie Disco by The Rogue Dubstep. His link will be in the description, so check it out. So the first tip is actually more of a correction. You can actually render image sequences in lower versions of Sony Vegas. You go to Tools, Scripting, Render as Image Sequence, choose where you want to save it, choose your start time and end time, and then click OK. As you can see, it actually goes a bit slower than it would in Sony Vegas 9 or other programs, but it gets the job done and saves you time in the long run. So for this one, I had to learn the hard way. After many hours of frustration, I finally realized that the pan crop was messing up my tracks. So don't use any pan crop or any other alterations similar to that on your footage before you render it out to track. By all means, after you've rendered the 3D, put it back on, but not before. Going through this example frame by frame, you can see it is really fast and has some quite extreme movements. So unfortunately, Bojo would not track it at this speed and give um, bad results. To fix it, I just recorded this move slower and then retracked it again. Then after creating my 3D and rendering it out, I sped it back up in Sony Vegas and it was at the correct speed. So this tip won't apply to most people. Most people will just record in 1280 x 720 or some other 16x9 resolution. Unfortunately I didn't, so I have these black bars side by side. To get rid of these, you click that little arrow at the top left, and if you can't remember the resolution you recorded in, you can open the video and it will fill out all the information for you. You might want to change the frames per second back to what you had it as originally, because I recorded this smooth at 500 frames per second. But after that's sorted, you'll have the right resolution. You can go into your tracking, record your 3D, and then change it back to 16 by 9 afterwards. So that's it for now, guys. There's some tips that will hopefully help you solve your problems if you have any, and help you prevent any problems in the future. I just want to take this time to tell you that I finally gave in and made a Twitter account. If you want to follow me, then feel free to do so. What I'll be posting on there is basically just updates of my current projects. For example, I might post some screenshots of some 3D I've made. Or I might render out a beta and post a link to an unlisted video on there. So if you don't want to miss anything, go ahead. I'll put the link in the description. Also, thanks to the Rogue Dubstep for letting me use his music. And that's it. I'll see you later.